Dr. Hill, when many of us only have one or two machines to rely on when we are choosing a, a toric IOL in, in, in terms of the K readings. So sometimes we will maybe only have the IOL master and either a topography or maybe the IOL master and an autokeratometer. What would you suggest for somebody that only has access to very few machines when they're faced with that? Well, I think the IOL master does a pretty good job of determining the power difference between meridians, but where it falls short is sometimes determining the steep meridian. Mm -hmm. If you have a topographer, then you can use the topographer to screen for regular astigmatism, and that can also allow you to set the steep meridian by drawing a line through the corneal vertex and the two lobes. And um, sometimes autokeratometers do a little bit better job than the IOMaster, especially the uh, NIDEC autokeratometer or the Canon AutoK, because they have a little bit higher density of measurements. So I think for screening, the IOMaster is fine, and certainly for determining the spherical power of the IOL, but I would look to a topographer um, to manually set the steep meridian and then an autokeratometer to confirm that steep meridian and determine the power difference. We're going to be talking about uh, using the TORIC IOL and certain strategies for success, what I consider to be best practices. I'm Warren Hill from Mesa, Arizona in the United States. To begin with, let's discuss how astigmatism is distributed amongst populations. Now, the patients with lots of astigmatism are certainly the ones that we remember, but those over here with low amounts of astigmatism are the patients that we typically see. So we have to have a plan in place to be able to do measurements correctly for the low astigmat. And we'll talk about that in just a minute, why these cases are a little bit more difficult. What is the best way to go about um, doing the measurements for the toric IOL? Well, first you have to think like the calculator thinks. What the calculator is looking for is the orientation of the steep and the flat meridians. And the calculator is also looking for the power difference between the two meridians. The calculator doesn't care if you put in k's of 42 and 44 or 44 and 46. It just sees a two diopter difference. So one of the first things to remember is avoid the mindset that you're just getting a set of k's. That's perfectly okay for calculating the spherical power of a toric lens, but not for determining the toricity that's used. And um, again, we're first looking to determine the orientation of the steep and the flat meridians.